On the border of New South Wales and Victoria, farmer Leon Martin has managed to clone one of his prized cows using DNA taken from the cow's ear. In two months, 17 of Leon's surrogate cows will be implanted with cloned embryos. As a breeder of livestock, you are always trying to find individuals that are superior, that have a whole range of traits that are of value to you as a producer, in this case red meat. And so realistically, you're looking for systems, if you, if you like, that allow you to speed up the process. If you went through just simply natural pregnancies, of course, a cow has a, a nine-month gestation period. So in a lifetime for a breeder, the opportunity to speed up that is a value. Um, it may be economic values, but it's also a value in terms of what progress you can make within your breeding herd. Cool. Realistically, this process of nuclear transfer is, is a, an alternate form of embryo production. We have been in the beef industry, sheep industries, etc. We've been using an existing system of producing embryos, which is very much like an IVF program that humans would undergo. So realistically, there are animals being produced as embryos already. This nuclear transfer process is a case of going to an alternate approach which in my view is much more humane uh, in its process. So for the donor animal of the tissue, it's, it's not invasive virtually at all. And so there's big factors like that. The other point I'd make, Peter, is, is that as a producer of livestock, you're always looking to see that animals are normal. So uh, whilst I've, uh, if you like, begun this process, my screening system will be to see that when the embryos are implanted, the pregnancy rates, the calves that are born are normal. So I'm not going in totally naive. I, I intend to screen this process for myself, if you like, as we go through and make sure that things are normal. In that case, the animals that would enter, if you like, the food chain would be comparable to a natural calf, etc. So